in the name of Allah, the most beneficent and the most merciful. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa is related to have said that if the unbeliever, the unbeliever knew the extent of merciful love that God has for his creatures, the unbeliever on the day of judgment would not despair in entering paradise. And he also said, if the believer knew the extent of justice and of wrath of justice that God has, that the believer on the day of judgment would not feel guaranteed to enter paradise. The balance with, that we need to have in our belief in God. Yes, as was mentioned, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam told us about the rules of engagement, if you will. If this happens, you will enter Jannah. If this happens, you will enter hell. These are the rules, those are the norms. But specifically for each person, God knows how those rules apply to each individual. And then consequently, who Ainan specifically will enter Jannah or not enter, or not enter Jannah. Some of our Christian friends say, well, we know that if we believe in Jesus in this and that way, we will enter paradise and you Muslims don't know we're told that you will enter paradise. I think this is also misleading because Muslims have expressed this notion meaning that you see the final authority is to God and they wanted by that to exalt God subhanahu wa ta'ala and the decisions are only to him. They did not mean that we don't really know if we die, if we live as Muslims, die as Muslims, muwahid, that we do not know whether we enter Jannah. No, God promised that. And Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa was very clear about that. And the shafa'a and the intercession of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is very clear about that. But what we are indicating that in that sense of reverence for the divine, we do not say we know for sure. But if we die in that state, if we live in that state and die in that state, yes, we will enter Jannah. But I cannot point to a specific person and say, you will enter Jannah or you will enter hell in general, because first, we do not know the underlying emotions and realities of that person, despite of their external reactions. Number two, we do not know whether that person is going to die in the state in which he currently is or not. And for these reasons and more, we say that, but alhamdulillah, rest assured, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the texts that are numerous and authentic that he gave you the glad tidings. If you live as Muslims, you die as Muslims, you will enter Jannah, inshaAllah ta'ala.